So guys, today we are going to be doing yet another EDC neck knife review. This particular EDC neck knife is going to be the small but still very awesome Mora Eldress. And this one's of course in red, but I do have multiple colors of these. So I actually use this knife for a lot of EDC tasks and it actually proved really capable. So I figured it's time to do an EDC review on this little knife. So without any further ado, as always guys, please do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more awesome Alaskan content like this. Like I said, this is going to be the subject of our tabletop review here. Hopefully you enjoy some of these nice little tabletop accessories or decorations. I always try and keep this interesting and semi-appealing. And as always, I will be rolling in some fun use. When I was getting ready to do the outdoor review for this knife, I actually did a lot of everyday carry tasks with this knife. And that's part of the reason why I knew it would be such a capable and competent EDC knife. And I think some of the primary reasons why I found myself using this knife so much for EDC tasks was particularly because one, it had a really short blade length, so it didn't look very opposing when drawn out. It also had a very, or has a very, very thin edge, especially with this whole scalloping factor here that really narrows the very belly of the edge, which makes it extraordinarily capable for slicing. And so this really short blade meant that you were never really going to go further than you were expecting to, but yet it was still far enough to cut open a lot of packages and stuff like that. So I had that just right blade length for opening things, but not going too far or damaging things. It also has a very nice and very uh, sharp, robust, and pointed tip to it that's very good at piercing into objects and cutting or helping start that very initial cut down some Thing or cut of something so that was something I really enjoyed about it for everyday carry tasks another thing that I really liked as you guys probably already re realized is that this is a neck knife so the convenience factor of it being a neck knife was high so I could just carry this on my neck and if I had a bunch of things to cut open or if I was processing a lot of cardboard on any given day I could pretty much just open this button strap here leave it hanging on my neck you know pull it out cut open an object then put it back then you know go to my next task pull it out cut open an object and you know do what I needed to do and so that convenience factor of not having to put it back in the pocket or fold it you know you just take it out do what you need to put it back in there and you know so on and so forth I really enjoyed the convenience factor of the neck knife appeal to it once again really enjoyed uh, this neck strap here, not so much neck strap, but this kind of retention strap on the knife. I've noticed with a lot of knives that hang below you or hang where you have to pull it below as opposed to like above uh, from your neck, they can always be a little bit dangerous because of the amount of retention. You know, this knife has to hold, or the sheath has to hold the knife. This, this sheath has to hold this knife in here from coming out and possibly cutting you if you're wearing it on your neck. So I really like the fact that when doing more rigorous physical activities or anything where you might think that the knife may possibly jostle out, you just have a simple and easy strap to flip over and button in. And with that strap, this knife is absolutely not coming out at all. So I really like that safety kind of feature and fact that if you are worried or concerned at all, you could just take this strap and fold it over the knife and you have for sure retention regardless. And even at that, it's still very easy to open it so that you can pull out your knife. It's very easy to come up here, find this strap, kick it off and pull out the knife. So that ease is still very high and I, I also really enjoyed that as far as the uh, sheath goes. I also like quickly that the uh, sheath is ambidextrous. This is another type of knife that is completely ambidextrous. So regardless of if you put the knife in this way or if you put the knife in this way, it has the same amount of retention and this retention strap, being that it goes over the middle of the knife, is still completely ambidextrous. So regardless to whether you're a left hand dominant or right hand dominant, Dominant, uh, neck knife user this is still a very compatible knife for you 
a Sandvik C27 stainless steel and I really for the most part I like this steel it's not the absolute greatest steel in the world of course but for what it is and for the most part it is a pretty good steel it holds an edge just as long as you would need it to and it does not go dull very super easily at least it's certainly no like 420 HC uh, so it definitely holds an edge for quite some time also the Scandi grind helps with that edge retention but the primary thing I enjoy about it is the stainlessness of it now once again it's not an h1 stainless steel so it's not the absolute best but i do enjoy that you can go and you can cut a bunch of fruit have some fruit juices on there just stick the blade back in there and you know you don't really have to worry about rust it might make it look a little weird but you don't have to worry about this blade steel really rusting up on you and that's a really nice and handy feature because once again with everyday carry knives at least for me i don't want to put a gigantic amount of time into caring for the particulars of this knife I don't want to sit there and you know if I get a little bit of water on it just like brush it off and you know, make sure it's all dry before it goes back in the sheath no I just want to be able to take it out cut it or cut something and then you know put it back in the sheath and not really have to worry about the whole rusting of this steel I know this knife has a quite a sticker shock for most people who are used to considering Mora's, like the Mora Companion, for being, you know, a sub $20 knife. And then you get to this Eldris that's way smaller than a Companion, and it's like $25 for the most basic version of this and i know that really surprises a lot of people but it is actually quite an affordable knife when you begin to look at knives that are in the same size range a lot of people they judge this knife with the fact of like larger knives and that is certainly not necessarily or that's not necessarily wrong if you're looking at pure usefulness but if you're actually trying to go and find a knife that is this size you'll be quite surprised to find that most knives that come from a reputable company and have good quality materials like this you know good sheath well thought out execution and design are actually quite expensive I think one of the first neck knives that's in the similar size range uh, comes to mind almost immediately is the SE Azula and the SE Azula is actually quite expensive it's another if this is like the base level one of $25 your average SE Azula is around 50 to 60 so this knife really is not as expensive as many people think it is and I think the biggest thing that people need to get into their minds when considering a knife like this is if you want a knife this small consider other competitive options things like the SC Azula or Browse Blades Silent Soldier you know these different knives that are in this same similar size range they're all significantly more expensive than this knife itself so I think it actually is a pretty good deal in comparison to other knives in its similar category and I always refer to this knife as like the poor man's SC Azula because that's really what I feel it is you know it has just enough blade to fill your or handle to fill your hand and you know just enough blade to get most jobs done just like an SC Azula and it's also about half to sometimes even less than half the price of an SC Azula so that is what I like about the price point and I think the price point is pretty fair for the most part of course it is a small knife I never like to pay a lot for a small knife or any knife for that matter but I do think it is worth it so next the next point that I do actually really like about this knife and something that does kind of set it apart is the fact that it does have a functional spine too for striking ferro rods of course this isn't a EDC review, but even as an EDC item, you always want your EDC items to be as multifunctional as possible. And so I like the fact that this is a ground 90 degree spine, so you can potentially do scraping with it. You can also strike ferro rods if you were ever launched into a survival situation for whatever reason. This still has that capacity to strike ferro rods quite easily. And so I like that multifunctional aspect of a blade touch that they didn't have to do, but more chose to do anyways and like I said I really appreciate that well other than that uh, I don't really have many complaints with this knife I will say something that is just a little bit of a gripe is I wish they would have made the uh, 
the area where you put your neck string through this area right here a little bit easier. I've threaded multiple of these more Aldris's uh, like necklaces through these sheath holes and they are always a real fiasco to get through there and I often have to use specialized tiny tools to go in there and kind of just work it through so it's doable but I will say that is a slight gripe that I have of the sheath but aside from that the retention on the sheath is pretty excellent I've had this thing for months and months and months and the retention is still excellent like there's no shake you guys can see here and even without strap the retention is still really amazing so no complaints on the sheath retention or really anything in long-term use overall this knife especially for it's like 25 to even 35 dollar price point considered is not really a bad knife i think like i said there's a lot of sticker shock because people are used to seeing more as being extremely cheap but honestly for what you're getting here it's really not that bad so especially like I said considering its competitive options that's the biggest thing because there are some people myself included that do actually like to run knives that are this small and have this small of a blade length and so while a companion might be cheaper if it's not in the size that I'm looking for the companion really doesn't help me that much so that's my ultimate kind of statement on its price point so aside from that, I really do have enjoyed it and I love carrying it. Its weight is pretty awesome because it is not a full tang knife like the SE Azula. Its knife is still actually pretty lightweight and far more hand filling than an SE Azula. So that is a big plus for me. And overall, I just really enjoy carrying it. It has a way better retention system too than an SE Azula. So other than that, and even things like the tops, mini scandy knife or msk Anyways, guys that is my overall thoughts and experience in an everyday format uh, or everyday carry format of the sweet little mora eldris and ultimately like i said even in my uh, outdoor review i think if you are considering a se azula for everyday carry you might seriously consider the eldris and save yourself some money because the azula is pretty awesome but this is also pretty dang tough and i would rival to say that this thing is equally as tough as an azula and yet still more affordable and better ergonomics better sheath retention and sheath in my opinion uh, unless it has a custom like se azula sheath but for the most part this probably this whole stock package is superior to an se azula so anyways guys that's really all i have to say on the mora eldris as always guys god bless and i'm out